A new study on the effectiveness of face masks shows a dramatic life-saving result against the coronavirus. Researchers from Arizona State University found that widespread use of masks, even if they're homemade, could lower the projected death toll in New York State by up to 45% over two months. Vlad Dudier reports on how Americans nationwide seem to be getting the message to cover up. Everywhere in America, people stepped up to answer the call with a cloth, thread, and a needle. It's just been uplifting to be able to, to have something to do and to have a purpose. We start off our mask by sewing in the protection. From a nine-year-old girl in Maryland working in her basement to this 90-year-old man in Wisconsin. And you got the material and I started sewing. People are sewing masks for medical workers, first responders, and for themselves. You can see the hidden talents behind those hidden faces, the creative ones, and the wacky ones. Repurposed dress shirts. Fold it over again. Classic bandanas and masks with artwork by children in hospitals. The new normal, when life gives you cloth, you make masks. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps. When the nation's top doctor urged everyone to make their own face covering, Americans started looking for anything and everything they could find at home. A very simple fabric mask that I made out of a t-shirt without any sewing. You take a handkerchief like this size. This is a, a, a buff, um, which people use for a variety of things. Um, you know, same concept where you would you know, basically make sure that it covers your nose and make sure that it covers your chin. That look exactly, good? exactly. That's perfect. We asked our senior medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, for some guidance. You want it to be in the right position on your nose, which is kind of exactly where you have it. It should fall right at the bridge of your nose, not too low. And okay. then you want to make sure it comes under your chin as well. What are some of the mistakes that people make when they're wearing it? One word, fidgeting. You tend to touch it a lot and pull it up, pull it down. Um, and all of that fidgeting and potentially getting your hands on the mask dirty and contaminated. Thank you. You're welcome. When this t-shirt company in California shut down, it switched to making masks and gave away tens of thousands for free. We all need them and we're trying to stay safe and protect everyone. Small businesses to big companies, everyone is pitching in. Under Armour repurposed their Baltimore operations to produce roughly 650,000 masks for healthcare workers. It was just simply the right thing to do. CEO Patrick Frisk. We've had our teammates at Under Armour step up and truly live our values in this very difficult time. Check out some of these, Anthony, made by Sue Siegel, who was a seamstress for Prince. And check out these masks from Universal Music Group, branded by some of its top artists, the Rolling Stones, Queen, Bob Marley, Billie Eilish, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande. All proceeds will go to a relief fund for struggling artists. I know you've got one already. I did. I got this. I usually wear bandanas, but I kind of like this one because it, it feels like it gives me a face again, or at least lips, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And it's I love good. it. I did see you with your bandana, but I love this better. <laughs> yeah, this is a diff slightly different look. <laughs> All right, Vlad. Thanks a lot.